it turned on. Hey everybody! Yes, it's turned on! Hello everybody! Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery! And I'm going to plug in my microphone, maybe? Maybe? How's that? It'll have to do. It'll have to do. So, let's get it plugged in. We're going to do a little bit of shaking. Anyway, welcome to Raincross Farms Makery! My name is Robin. The man manipulating the camera and the computer is my husband, Bill. One mumbling in the background. Anyway, welcome to our crafting studio. We have a uh, craft to show you tonight. Super fun for Halloween. And so when you are, when you pop on, say hello. Let us know you're watching. If you're watching and there's a red box up here that says live, you are watching us live. And if that box isn't there, you're watching us replay so either way it doesn't matter please make a comment um, replay hashtag replay would be great and we'll know when you joined us so i'm going to take just a moment and pull up the live on my computer so i can see it and I'm going to pin a comment. Hello, Cheryl. Welcome. We are all here. Well, the feathered friends are outside. Oops, that's not that's not the pinned comment. Let me get rid of that. Only one eyeball. Cyclops. Let's get rid of that. Let me get my pinned comment ready. Do 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 do. And let's get rid of that. And so if that's only one eyeball, it must be yours. Hopefully we will get some more people to join us. And let me see if I can pin that comment. Pin it. There we go. Okay, i get rid of that. Okay, let's get started. So, how is everybody? This is Tuesday night, I believe. Must be, where is Bill? Bill's, Bill is in his place behind the computer. Be, well, behind his computer, behind the camera, not in front of the camera. You know, anyway, he's there. He doesn't come... He doesn't come up on my microphone very much anymore, so he kind of mumbles back there. So if you want to hear what he's saying, you just have to tell him to speak up. Okay, I'm. you're doing good. I'm glad. We are doing good, too. We are on a countdown to get ready to go on a cruise, so trying to get household stuff in order so that we can be gone for 10 days or so. Anyway, if you're watching give us a big heart on our page and follow our page. We would love to have new followers sprinkle the video out to your little universe. We would appreciate that. We have stars activated and we appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much. Okay. looks like we got another eyeball. Hmm. Okay. So, quick review. I know right now I'm preaching to the choir, but hopefully there's some people out there watching the replay that are going to want to know this information. So we have a monthly club subscription program, and this is, this is August's design of the month, home sweet home, cute little cottage. It comes with three paste singles comes to your mailbox every month hey i see alana popped on where do you board the ship spoke not not spokane seattle right seattle seattle okay oh you did okay anyway so however this adorable design is only available to club members and designers, and it is only available in the month of August. So that's two more days, today, rest of today, and tomorrow, and then it goes away and we get a new design. I'm gonna show you the new design in just a minute. So these are a couple of the things that we made using that transfer. 
So we made this little block set with the little words and the little cottage on a separate one and then home sweet home on the big one. So you're able to use it multiple ways. Let me stow this back here. Okay. And then we made this one on my little fake book. We just used home sweet home and the cottage on the front. And then on the side of the book, we have the words. And this is actually a fake book. It holds our remotes out in our living room. So that's something we did with that transfer. So lots of different things you can do with them. Also, reminder, end of August is the last day to get a free gift for joining club because it's my business page. I can't open this box and show you what you get free, but you can find out from my VIP page or you can ask me or join club and you will get what's inside this box for free just for joining in the month of August. So don't forget that. Okay, uh, long drive. What is it, five hours? I think five hours. But we're going a couple days early and spend some more time with our kids. Anyway, this is September's club. If you're interested, are you interested? These are the these are the colors that it comes with. It comes with a shimmer gold. I'm not sure if it's papaya or rust. I can't tell from the picture, but it's a it's kind of a deep autumny red, reddish orange, and black. So these are the three colors it comes with. So you know it's going to be something autumn. Here is September's design. Grateful for this day. So pretty. You could use the outside of the frame for so many things and put change up what goes on in the what goes in the inside. So pretty. So we will do several projects with this. This starts September 1st. So if you if you join before August is over, you will get the home sweet home and then turn around in, in the month of September, you will get this one. So that's club. If you're interested in more information, type in the word club and my bot will send you a link and I will follow up with, with some more information. Okay, let's get to crafting. Nice to spend time with family. Yes, it is. And we don't get to see them very often. Okay. So what we're going to do, here's, whoops, knocking stuff over. Here's our surface. It is a two by six, right? Two by six block. How wide is it? It is five and a half. And that's a six. So it's a two. So it's one and a quarter, one and, one and a half by five. And a half. It's a two by six. Right. And it is about nine and a half inches long that's not crucial but this is going to be our surface for tonight and if you were watching you saw if you were reading the little intro it says can i be frank with you so for halloween we are making a frankenstein woohoo okay so first thing we're gonna do my doctor's name was frankenstein yes you did his last name was frankenstein and he had no sense of humor about it whatsoever Okay, I'm going to put down a board. We are going to paint this up green because Frankenstein is green, right? So I'm going to get out my chalk paint. It's kind of a big surface, so I'm not going to use my chalk paste. So I'm going to get out some chalk paint. And this is fern color. But I think that that's not quite Frankenstein-y enough. So I'm probably going to add a little bit of yellow to it. And we're going to come up with our own custom Frankenstein color. Okay, so let me shake this up a bit. So how's it going, Cheryl? Working still? Working on your, uh, on your website? Getting those kittens some new homes? Okay, so I'm going to need quite a bit of this. So I'm going to mix it up in this cup. I might not need that much, but good enough. Better to have too much than not enough, right? So here's my green. It's kind of a ferny green. It might kind of go okay with 
Frankenstein. This is apparently new. So we're just going to kind of add a little yellow to this green. Okay, and a couple dollops of yellow, and let's stir it up and see what we've got. Okay, what do you think? Is that kind of Frankenstein-y green? Yep. Okay, Bill says yep. So hopefully I have enough. Otherwise, I'll mix some more and it, it'll, it'll match pretty well. Okay. Put those aside. Stick that in there. Put that aside. Let me get, get a big old brush. And this bottom kind of has wax or something on it. So I'm not going to paint the bottom. And I, it's kind of, it's chunky. It's not super, super smooth. That's okay. I want it to look very chunky and rustic. He pre-drilled some holes. Can you imagine why? No, I don't know why. You don't know why. You'll, you'll have to be surprised. I just do what I'm told. And there's, there's staples in here. It's okay. It won't matter. It's not going to matter. Almost looks like going to be Kermit the Frog, huh? I would drive down to Kelseyville. It's pretty there too. Kelseyville. I've never heard of that. Okay. I got my edges done, so I have something to grab onto. Let me give this a quick dry. Hey, every day is Saturday. Coming on from your business page. Hello, Patty. Yes, Frankie's going to have a lot more staples in him before this night's over. Because Frankie was, he was assembled, right? He was, he was a monster that was created. He was created by Dr. Frankenstein, right? Did, so did Frankenstein even have a name? Frankenstein's, Frankenstein's monster. Okay, so we just call him Frankenstein. I don't know. Okay, I do have to I do have to say this is not completely original i've seen two other people do this project and each one has done it just slightly different so i'm going to kind of do the same and do it slightly different from them and i have green paint on my hand is this what you wanted me posting well yes if you've got someplace else to be You're just helping me out. Moral support. Okay, let's paint the front and the back. We're just going to do a single coat for our funky Mr. Frankenstein. Get that dry. Down in Lake County. Is it going to be a, is it going to be a, a happy he's, Yeah, he's not going to be scary. He might be a happy Frank. He might be a goofy Frank.
So it's just a two by six chunk of wood. I also saw somebody do this on a um, little mini cutting board. That was cute too. But I kind of wanted the chunky one. I think I'm going to put him out by my cats that I did. A few nails out the side. Yeah, maybe, maybe, Alana. You'll just have to wait and see what we have planned. There is a method to my madness. Okay, so this this is my um, this is my embossing gun. So it's stinking hot. I'm kind of melting some of the boiling up some of this paint. We need to be careful. Okay, so let's turn it over and do. The last side i have plenty of paint so i took some fern green chalk paint this is fern and i mixed it with a little bit of maize to kind of come up with this color we're going to do one other thing to it too because i imagine frankenstein's the monster's skin was not super super smooth so we're going to kind of model up his his skin. We're going to give him a little bit of sparkle too. Okay. Way too much paint. That's okay. I can put that in a craft jar and save it for something else on another day. Waste not, want not. All right. Okay, so let's dry this up. I have a couple of half round wooden circles that are going to be his eyes. He's going to kind of have little beady eyes. Oops. So we're going to paint those up too. I don't think he's going to have a nose. I'm seeing some parts. What page were you on? Oh, she was on her business page. Technically, you're not supposed to go on some another designer's page from your business page, but it's all good. I know you're not here trying to steal my followers and my customers. I would love it for you to all go and watch Every day is Saturday when she goes live. Just come back to me to shop. I'm sorry? You see the what? Bud. No. Bud is sending in likes. Oh, my, oh, my boy. Yay. Hey, Dan. Say hello. Don't just don't just click that button. Say hello. Okay. Okay. Dry. Let me get my little half round. So they're going to end up being his little eyeballs. So I'm going to start by painting them white. Again, chalk paint. And that needs to get stirred up a bit. Okay, and I'm going to do my little trick to hold to hold those in place. Let me show you my trick. I put down painter's tape when I'm painting half round beads like this. I flip my tape over like that, put it like that, and then glue those down. And then they don't go they don't go rolling off the table. Okay, so I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint them all white, and then I'm going to go back in and do the pupils. I'll do the black in the middle. So get that all painted white. But what name do I know you by? 
that is Patty Bender. Every day Saturday is our Patty Bender. I know she's incognito when she <laughs> comes on here. So you have the new Facebook page. I don't yet. I'm not looking forward to it. Everybody says, oh, it's not that big a deal. And you can't get it to change. You're supp there's supposed to be a little, a little icon of your face or whatever. And if you click on that, it should give you a choice between, as what I'm told, I don't know, I don't have on it. My phone, if I do a reply, uh -huh. it will only reply as rain cross arms. But if I comment, it comments as me. Oh. Um, so I'm actually logged in under Rain Cross Farms on the computer and I'm listening on the phone. When I comment, it's my, it's by my name. And when it's on, um, when I'm, when I'm clicking or whatever, it comes up as Rain Cross Farms doing it. Okay. So I'm making, I'm giving them some little eyeballs. Trying to make or, them round-ish. Or, or some big eyeballs. And where'd you get the brain? Somebody named Abby? Abby Normal. Okay. There we go. Those are going to be his eyeballs. I could have used googly eyes, but... <sighs> I, I know where the googly eyes are, too, but uh, I'm not going to use them. Okay. Yay, you got it. Okay, so I've got the eyeballs. I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to model up this finish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some shimmer olive paste and I'm going to dilute it. And I need to come in and work on this. This has gotten a little. And you know, I'm just going to put it in the lid. And I'm going to dilute it a little bit. And thin that out. And what. Can't help but wonder if these people know what what I'm referring to. Oh, with Abby Normal? I'm sure they know. Okay, do you know what Abby where Abby Normal comes from? Okay, a little more, a little bit thinner, and I'm going to use a very special tool to apply this. Are you ready for my special tool? Bubble wrap. Woohoo! Bubble wrap. So I'm going to. Yeah, but Cheryl knows, but you know what bubble wrap was initially made for in the 60s? No, I think I've heard, but I don't remember. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to take, I'm just going to kind of not really wad it up, but I'm going to. Just kind of apply it on here i'd probably do just as well with regular saran wrap but it kind of i don't know kind of makes them look like a lizard anyway just gives a little i don't know depth to his face and i'm going to go a little bit on the side And a little bit on this side. This is optional. I just thought I wanted to give him a little. Yep, I knew Cheryl was probably now. 
A little sparkle. Alana knows. Alana knows. Okay, we are. We have found our tribe. If they know. Okay, you're all allowed to stay. Okay, I gotta get some water in here. Go. Okay, so here is. Can you see? Okay, it's it is green. It's a little lighter green, but it gives a little bit of sparkle, and it just kind of gives his face a little texture. Texture. Okay. Let's dry this up. Kind of looks like a lizard. I don't know. I don't know what they used for his skin. Skin? Skin, skin? Human? Cadaver? Okay. Now, I'm going to do something fun for his hairline. Totally optional. I didn't even do a cart link for it. But I'm going to use one of our transfers to do his hairline, just because I can. I could have just done a jagged line and painted it black. What fun is that? Oh, I didn't, I didn't dry these, these edges. So here's the transfer I'm going to use. The best views come after the hardest climb. But see those mountains down below? Does that not look like now upside down? Does that not look like Frankenstein's hairline? Just want to show you how versatile our transfers can be. Okay, so I'm going to put this down, and it's a little sticky, so I'm going to put down some wax. I'm not too worried about it. If, if some of it peels up, it's not a big deal. So I'm just going to put it up there at the top. So my transfer doesn't peel up the paint that I just put down. So, buff it off. Looks good. I, you could do fringe. You could take you could take some felt, and you could cut out felt and glue it on. You could paint it on. Uh, if you had fringe, that would be perfect. Lots of different ways you could do this. You could completely do this and not use any chalk products. I'm going to get a series of WD-40 injections in my bones. I hope, hopefully not real WD-40. Medical grade WD-40. Okay. I'm going to give this just a quick fuzz. You know the rule. If it doesn't move and it's supposed to, WD-40. If it moves and it's not supposed to, duct tape. Duct tape. That's what works. Okay. So most of this is just open screen. So I'm just going to, and you know what? I'm going to kind of, I'm going to leave enough room to slide it around the back. And we will do the sides too. Okay. Okay, and so there's really nothing holding this screen up here. You know what? I think I might just, I will go down just a tad so I have something for it to hold on to. And then we'll touch it up. We'll touch up the edges. Okay. Okay, again, it doesn't, it doesn't want to stick. That's okay. What did I do? I need, I need my black paste. Black paste, where are you? You're going to go around the edges, aren't you? I'm going to go around the edges, and I'm going to do the top, too. Okay. So, I have, let me use my mini. Okay, so I have my black velvet chalk paste, chalk in paste form. 
and I'm going to just chalk those mountains. I'm going to hold it really still as much as possible. Clear off those edges. And I'm going to tip it on its side and come around here and do the side here. And then we'll come back and we will get that other edge. We'll have to piece that together. Okay, so let me peel this off. Ooh, he's cute. Isn't he cute? He has a little hairline. He's okay. A hairline. Okay, let me dry this up. All right. When you held that up to the screen, uh -huh. it made me think of a mountain knife. Oh, when it was upside down? Mountain oh, knife. like that? Yeah, it's like a knife in the mountain. You just keep, you cover a book or something. Mm. I, we have some friends that moved to Alaska, and she just went on Facebook today and posted pictures of the northern lights that they saw from their house. I, I don't know if we will get to see them on the ship. I sure hope so. That is, that is one thing on my bucket list is to see the northern lights. So I'm hoping being out at sea, we won't have a lot of light pollution. Okay, so I'm going to find a place to match this up. How about right there? Match that up right there and do this other side. <laughs> Why so angry, Alana? Did she give us a mad face? She did. She's cranky at us. Why are you cranky? Okay. There we go. I missed a spot. That's okay because I'm going to go through. I'm going to go through with my paint and finish up the edges. Oh, that keeps falling over. Okay. Spray in my transfer with water just so it stays damp. My brother worked for an international company whose home office was in Iceland and he had to go there several times a year and would always tell us how beautiful the lights were. I sure hope so. Somebody said, no, you won't see them in September. But apparently, apparently they were, they were visible last night. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of this paste and fill in the top. Little top edge. Like and I believe that. Like you believe what? That it wasn't you. Okay, so let's paint the top of his head. Okay, just one more I'm assuming Frankenstein had a full head of hair and wasn't bald on the top. At least the monster. Okay, so I'm just using my paste to do this. I could have pulled out my chalk paint, but this way I know everything will match up. She's aware. She's aware, aware of a werewolf. Okay, 
rid of that. Okay, so we have we have Frank's hair on the sides and on the top. Now, super easy would have been to just do a zigzagged line, but knowing me, I have to do the extra. So make sure he's all good and dry. He is plenty wide enough to sit on a shelf. So you just have to make sure when you cut one edge, one edge is, is flat enough. If it was a little crooked at the top, that would be okay too. Okay, so here is Frank. Now let's see. Okay, so we're going to give him some little goofy eyes. We're going to give him a mouth. Okay, so this is what my thought was with the mouth because he was an assembled creature, right? He was put together. So we're going to put him together. So I've got I've got a strip of felt and we are going to kind of give him a funky mouth and this is how we're going to attach his mouth with a staple gun sound good so i'm just gonna start oops that one sent out two that won't work let's try that again malfunction these staples might be, I might have to pound these in with a hammer. These are really long staples. You didn't have short ones in, this, in the pack? Uh-uh. Okay. Oh, that works. Okay. So we're going to kind of, it's, it's not going to be a, it's going to kind of be a crazy mouth. Not a, not a mad mouth, but. Gonna kind of, I've seen people do this with a zipper. But I didn't have a zipper. So we're gonna kind of make a zipper. We're gonna glue those eyes on, but I want to get this down first. I should I should have been wearing a white coat, a white lab coat to have done this craft. And long rubber gloves. Long rubber gloves. Or a streak in my hair. That was the bride. Uh, that was the bride. Oh, okay. Well. Okay. How's he doing? He's looking kind of cute, kind of goofy. Because remember, I don't go into spooky, really spooky, scary Halloween stuff. So we're kind of making him cute. And let's do one more right there. Okay, that one didn't go all the way in. So we're going to get a hammer and pound that in. Okay, so here's his mouth. What do you think? Kind of looks like he has braces. And then we'll put his little eyes on in a minute. Okay, we're going to give him some scars. Okay, so let's see. How am I going to do this? Okay, we're going to give him a couple of scars. So I'm going to give him one up here. He's using a sharpie. Well, to start with. Well, you should have done staples for his I'm stitches. Going, I'm going to. Oh, okay. I'm just putting the the, Sorry, the well, opening. Just keep watching, okay? Just keep watching. Charlotte, she loves it. Alana says she loves it with three exclamation points. Woohoo! Whoop! That 
one shot out two of them again. Try it again. Good, I'm going to extend that line. Okay, and that needs to be. Okay, so where should I put another? Where should I put more stitches? No, I think less is better. Less is better. Just the one. No, I think we need. I, I'm going to put. I'm going to put. Across his neck. I put some down here because we're gonna put a, we're gonna put kind of a little bow on him, but I'm gonna do some more stitches down there. I would make a great doctor. Hi, Liana. Hey, Liana. <laughs> okay, so I still have to glue on the eyes, but what do you think? Can you see his, minus his eyes, you see his stitches up here? And his stitches down here? Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so let's see. How do we want those eyes? I think they should have been googly eyes. Well, these are, they're going to be kind of googly. No, they don't wiggle. Okay. I, I like that. Good enough. Oops. You know what? I see I'm missing a little bit of paint right there. Let me touch that up while I've got it. Check these other ones because we want him to be perfect. <laughs> okay, let's try that. Yes, so he's super cute. Officially hate auto. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> super easy to make. You don't need anything special. You don't even need these little half rounds. You could use buttons. You could just draw them up, paint them on. But this this gives it a little bit of texture. I'm all about that texture. The little mouth gives it a little bit of texture when you're up close to it. Okay, so I'm going to put his eyes kind of close together. Come on, glue gun. And my glue gun doesn't want to go. Come on. Pardon me. My glue gun needs a talking to. My glue gun needs a talking to. It's not, it's not feeding. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna change it up. I'm gonna get another glue gun out. Not that one. I'm gonna get another glue gun out. This one I think has backed up on itself. I don't know. We got a backup here. Okay, I think that's on. So we will wait on those. Okay, what would Frankenstein be without his bolts? So Bill pre-drilled some holes so that we can put his bolts in. Isn't he cute? See his bolts? And let's let's make a cute little bow, little bow tie. Let's see, what do I have? I grabbed some Halloween ribbon. Let's see if we can make a bow tie. Okay, so I have, tell me what you like. I'm sure that's heating. I don't know. 
That is a knot. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, there's one line and two lines. I think that's the, that's the online. Okay, so I have this yeah, orange ribbon with spider web says Happy Halloween and a spider. Or I've got this uh, white ribbon with says Boo, Happy Halloween, Haunted House, Spooky. So which one of those shall we make his tie out of? The yellow? I mean the uh, the orange? The orange? Or the white? Let me let me open them up. See if that makes a difference. Okay, is that heating? I think that's heating. Okay, so here's the white. I don't know. Maybe I'm kind of liking the white. And I also have some lighter ones that um, uh, some just some purple and some orange that I could add to it. Okay, Bill says the orange, but I'm kind of liking that white. What do you think? Cheryl says white, Liana says orange, Bill says orange. I don't want to give him too big. I could use both, but I don't want to give him too big of a bow. Too big of a... Okay, so here's, here's the white. He was a snappy dresser in Young Frankenstein only. Okay, so here's here's the whitish, and here is here is the orange. Okay, so white because it has some green. Alana says white. Liana says orange. How about let's do the white. And we will dress it up with this orange and purple. Whatever. 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 So let's you know, see. Whatever I choose will be the opposite, so it doesn't much matter. <sighs> Don't you feel sorry for him? Don't you just feel sorry for him? Okay, let me get. What am I getting? I need some. Um... Pardon me. I'll be right back. What did I do with it? There it is. Okay, so we'll use some of this too. Okay. I'm going to use different scissors. I think you need to go back and watch it, Alana. Okay, so let's do a an awareness bow. What, you want to ask? Okay, Duke wants out. Let's trim that. Duke Set wants. that aside. No more pretzels, buddy. Okay, so we're going to do an awareness bow like that. <sighs> Let's make it a little bit smaller. And you know what I'm going to do before I tie it off, I'm going to make the other part. So I'm going to take this little clip to just kind of hold it. And I've got some orange. We'll do the same type of thing. Let's do it with both of them together. Making it up as we go. Making it up as we go. Okay. So we'll do some orange. Duke, do you want to watch Young Frankenstein? With and we will do some purple. Duke wants to watch. Duke wants to watch Young Frankenstein. He got excited when I Duke just to watch. Duke just wants to watch because he thinks there will be food involved. That's right. Snackles. Always snackles and maybe okay. more pretzels with peanut butter. So I'm thinking that needs to be a little bit bigger. Okay. 
That needs to be a little bit bigger. Pardon me while I just fuss around with this. Okay. That there. And how about let's tie it up with this. Whoops, I do that a lot. I rip the end of the ribbon. I guess I pull too hard. Okay, so let's see. That looks snappy enough. There. How's that? Does that look snappy enough? I don't know. Okay, I'm not going to use the raffia. I was going to add some raffia. Okay, I'm going to dovetail these ends. Okay, so that's going to be off to the side. Okay, so let me put on his, let me put on his eyeballs now that I have hot glue. Get rid of like that. Gary Cooper, super duper. Ouch. Careful, that's hot. That's hot. And I just got glue on the top of his eyeball. That's okay. I'll scrape that off. Ooh, I'll, I'll burn that off. You know, it's okay to put glue there because it'll be shiny. Hmm. Okay. So far? So far, look at Frank. Look at Frank. And up close, you can see those, those scars really well. Now, this actually kind of hides one of his bolts, but that's okay. Okay, so let's put some glue right there. Glue that down. Not necessarily, Alana. Oh, no, Rich! <laughs> okay. Fuss with the ribbons a little bit more. And there we have him. Let me clean up my area just a tad and show him to you. Tell me what you think. How does he look? Bolts and all. You know what? I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to put a dab of hot glue just to hold those bolts in. Well, because of the paint, not so much. You know, I'm just gonna just shove that in there. Shove it in there. Shove it in there. Okay. So here is Mr. Frank. What do you think? Is he cute? Give me some hearts. It's so cute. You do sing better than him, Bill. Oh, I must have missed something. Okay. Well, anyway, here is our cute little Frankenstein. I hope you like him. Again, if you there's no there's no uh, there's no cart link for this. If you want to know the name of this transfer that I use, just just hit me up in the comments and I'll let you know. Um, again, club ends 
the last day to get the home sweet home for club couture is tomorrow night so if you're interested at all in club uh comment club and i'll get you all set up i'll get you the information and get you crafting and we are on again tomorrow morning uh for our segment on craft around the clock we're on at 8 45 uh, Pacific time. So join us. I have another fun little Halloween craft. So something practical and something adorable. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're able to catch us live. If not, please come on, catch the replay, comment along on the replay. But so let me pose. How do I pose with Frank? I don't know. How do I pose with him? Okay. Have a great evening and we'll see you tomorrow morning, hopefully. Thanks for watching and have a great night. Bye-bye.